Hey guys, it's Kelly Slemp, pediatric speech language pathologist, making these videos during the coronavirus outbreak for parents and caregivers at home to work with your child on their speech and language skills. So today um, I had some questions of what should I buy for my child to play with? And so I got these off Amazon and these are one of my favorite things. These are just 60 basic objects. A lot of them are a child's first objects. You can see a block there, um, an umbrella, um, there are all types of animals in here and also household objects. So this is a great little investment. It's $9. Um, I got it off Amazon. So it's in a plug for this. So any magnets that you have at your house are super fun, but it depends on the way that you play with them with your little one. So today I'm going to show you how to and how not to play with magnets to hopefully keep your little one engaged and you can target a variety of speech and language skills. You can work on any type of articulation. You can work on one and two letter, um, one and two word phrases. You can work on describing objects. You can work on spatial concepts, you know, underneath, between, before. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. And so the first thing we're gonna watch is how not to play with magnets. What's that? Cow. What's that? Lion. What's that? House. What's that? Cat. Good job. So now we know what not to do. So now I'm going to show you what I would do. Okay, so step one is to just dump all of these out and then separate them into two different piles. One pile for objects that your child already knows and another pile for things that your child does not yet know. So for some people, this might be three in one pile and then the rest go back in the container. And for other people, it might be my child knows all 60. So wherever you're at, only play, only start playing with the objects that your child already knows because we really want to build that self-confidence so that they're more willing to play and that they trust us and that they understand the activity before we start throwing in different things and trying to make it too complicated for them. So go ahead and separate into two different piles. The first activities that I would do with the magnets is place them as far away from the refrigerator as possible. Why? Because kids would typically associate those with the refrigerator if you've had any before. And so what we want to do is change it up. They're going to automatically be more interested and be more willing to play with us. Then we're going to amp up our energy and be super exciting. And maybe if I'm looking for a cat, I might get down on the floor and be like, meow, 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 kitty. Where are you? And I'm gonna use that same verbal routine over and over again. And I'm gonna use my gestures. And if your child is not imitating your gestures, speaking in gestures, um, using all of their fun little noises and their fun little sounds and doing those little movements with them, then we need to back up because they're not quite ready to be imitating our words yet. And so here I could prompt by saying, you know, what says meow, 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 kitty, where are you? And then there they would fill in you. And they might do this too, and they're looking and they're imitating you. And then we think, oh, it's on the lamp. And you, there's that word on, a great word. So I'm gonna run, 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 let's go get it. Run, 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 run. Got it. Look, I took it Ah, Oh, now fall down and roll around. And so you can really see that the energy level is super high. And then guess what? We're gonna run and put it on our fridge. So we're gonna run, 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 run. So our fridge is the magnetic. So I just got this little stool so you can put this in your kitchen or whatever. And the cat is on. And sometimes I'll say, ready, boom. <laughs> Most of the time it's gonna stick. Ready, boom. <gasps> cat is on, yay, you put the cat on. <gasps> Guess what? I'm looking for something that is round and bounces. If they're not to the function level yet, then you just say, where's the ball? Ball, where are you? That's right. So I'm looking for the ball and you might give the hint, it's on the chair. And I'm using a spatial concept there as well as another vocabulary, vocabulary word, on and chair. It's on the chair. Is this the ball? And now I'm the child, right? And I'm bringing them with me. And if they don't wanna come, it's because they don't know how much fun it is yet. So I'm bringing them with me, I'm like, is this the ball? No, no. Is that the ball? Yes, 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 it's the ball. I got ball. That could be another one. I got ball, I got cat. And then we're gonna run, 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 run. We're gonna go put it on the refrigerator. That's our refrigerator right now. Okay, and the last one is, if your child doesn't know chair or other household items, just use what they know. So here I got a cup back here, and this could be your child's cup. And you could say, hmm, something's in the cup. Let's go find it, cup, cup, cup. Here's my cup. I'm gonna reach in another spatial word, which is great. <gasps> it's a hat. I got Again, I'm, I'm waiting for them to fill a hat or even I got. 
what do I do with the hat? I can put it on my head. Sometimes I'll go, huh, 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 choo! Kids love to sneeze, okay? So that's a great little concept to add in there. And then we can follow directions. Maybe this time we can roll to the refrigerator. Roll to the refrigerator. Boom! Yay, we did it! We put them all on. So that's um, another thing that we can do with our magnets. And then whenever we take them off, I would just take them all off and you could do the verbal routine. So always give that word, off, off, ball, off. Fun, fun thing to do is say, bye ball, boom, right? So now hat, off, bye hat, boom, bye cat. So you're telling them again, you're in control and you're saying the vocabulary and then they're following directions. Or if they have that vocabulary, then you say, which one should I take off? Oh, you want me to take off cat? Okay, what do I say? Cat, off, bye cat, boom! And those boom words, any type of fun word, any type of fun sound that you can add in there to keep their attention, that's a great way to keep their attention. Okay guys, so just wanted to do a quick little wrap up now that I've showed you a couple of different ways that you can play with your magnets at home with your kiddos. And so just wanted to throw out there again, remember if you're saying like, my child doesn't like that, my child doesn't like to play, most of the time it's because they don't know how or they don't know that it's fun yet. And so it's up to us to show them how much fun it is. So a lot of times I have to take my little guys by the hand and say, run, 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 run. And they're like, I don't want to, I don't know what we're doing. And then finally, you know, they get to the end, they get to put it on, I'm super pumped, you're pumped, and then they get pumped and then they're more willing to do it. But it's just like the first time like you learn to ski, it might be hard at first, but then you do it over and over again and then now you're good at it and so now you like it. So we really wanna find the place where they are successful. So whether or not that's yes, no question, is this one blue, yes or no? Um, or, you know, does this one say moo? Does this one say cock-a-doodle-doo? Whatever the sound is, just make it as fun as you can, as entertaining as you can. And again, if they're non-compliant, just kind of help them until they are compliant and they really want to because learning is fun, um, they just don't know it yet. And then that's all I have for today. So let me know if you have any questions. Send your questions or your concerns or your video requests to speedyspeechpath at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook at speedyspeechpath or on Instagram at speedyspeech. And again, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. See you next time.